Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explain and give you an idea about Arduino Sensor Shield. So this is Arduino Sensor Shield version 5.0. Why I'm going to explain about it? Because this Arduino Sensor Shield can help you to connect multiple connectivity uh, simply by using the shields. And then you can also using a breadboard or even you do not want to use the breadboard also this sensor shield are very benefited for you especially when you want to interface with a lot of sensor here so uh, in this video i'm going to go about what is a sensor shield and then after that uh, in the next video perhaps i may want to use this sensor shield as one of the important component in my uh, tutorial so before we begin let us just uh, have a look about the Arduino Sensor Shield pin layout and after that we can also understand how we want to interface with this Sensor Shield. Okay, as you can see here in the slide or in the picture that being attached to your uh, monitor in front of you, it is indicated that Arduino Sensor Shield have so many pin out. So we have a pin out over here with regard to the um, pin 13 LED as you know let me just uh, squeeze this one a little bit so that you can compare with the live versions of my Arduino sensor shield that available uh, in this video okay so this is the LED pin number 13 that usually being used for the blinking uh, LED project as a simple sketch so we have here approximate uh, 13 digital IO which is correspond to the digital pin number 0 until digital pin number 13 over here so all of that uh, consists of signal S and then followed by V which is a uh, we call it as a uh, volt of VCC and then followed by the um, ground okay let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can see what is the um, actual um, conditions of this Arduino sensor shield. Okay, so I hope that you can see this Arduino sensor shield. Alright, so beside that, they have also this what we call it as a now wireless interface. So this is the wireless interface where you can put the RX and TX uh, using the APC220 wireless interface. So I believe this is one of the method when you want to uh, connect your Arduino with the uh, external interfaces. Okay. And then we have the connectivity with a serial plot or serial port we call here and then uh, the best thing about it we also have this uh, i square c i square c which is the sca and sdl that usually being connected in my case i'm usually uh, use it to uh, connect it with my lcd and then we also have the external power supply here but um, in a lot of cases, I may do not want to use it. But if you want to use it, please make sure that you use uh, an, an appropriate um, volt so that you don't uh, fry your Arduino Uno at the back here. And then we have, uh, beside that, we have this uh, connectivity. Okay, this one is a very cool features because you can also interact with the uh, SPI communication. Okay, this is usually being used for the uh, SD card interfaces. You can see here, we got uh, several pin. Uh, it's a female, uh, it's a male pin over here that can be interfaced with the VCC, ground, MOSI, uh, chip select, and then we, we got SCK, uh, and then we got a MISO. So all of this is being used uh, usually for our SD card module or uh, interface it with the SPI communication. And then we have this button over here. It's dedicated for Bluetooth interface. If you can see in the uh, pin layout over here, we got some uh, pin that correspond to the Bluetooth. However, in my project, usually I'm going to attach my H50 HC05 sorry HC05 um, Bluetooth module with this uh, soft uh, connection which is attached to the uh, digital pin 3 and 2 so just a quick one for my H50C HC05 sorry so for HC05 usually for the RX sorry for the RX and also TX I am going to attach it with the digital pin number 3 over here and then digital uh, pin number two over there so this is the idea of how you want to interface with the arduino sensor shield with your um, bluetooth uh, and also lcd and then uh, some other sensors you can see here this is a blank uh, one 
which is I'm going to attach it later on with the other sensors and then this is one of our previous project uh, with regard to the um, analog read function especially to make the lux meter which is I'm going to continue explain it again uh, in the future and then we have also this uh, digital I.O. that already being attached with the uh, traffic light LED it is very benefited because we got so many pin that's that is already available here that can uh, being used for multiple connectivity so in a nutshell this Arduino sensor shield is actually able to help you in uh, connecting all of the devices um, simultaneously in a very simplified manner and then we got also the analog okay I forgot to explain about the analog this is all the analog pin available for you to connect your Arduino and also the relevant project as you know the A4 and A5 also can be connected uh, with the serial sorry with the I2C device so the theoretically speaking with this I2C you can uh, multiply it using a breadboard using a breadboard like this you can just uh, follow the SDA, SEL, VCC and ground and then uh, connect to your correspond um, item or you can also connect here at, uh, at the A4 and A5 that are still available and empty so in 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 a simplified manner actually in one Arduino sensor shield you can at, at least interface with two and then you can also interface it with so many other uh, devices with the I squared seat with the different addresses of course uh, but of course you need to attach it some some somehow with the um, breadboard like this and then uh, just uh, to simplify everything else so we have a ground and then we have the external power supply over here and then we have a select power so if you are using the external power supply so you need to remove this yellow jumper wire so if you are using the uh, internal power supply provided by the Arduino down here uh, perhaps you no, you do not need to remove this uh, jumper wire and then uh, the tolerance of the volts as you can see in the uh, sensor shield version 5 pin layout is uh, about uh, 5 to 6 volts so make sure you don't supply it more than that because it can uh, destroy and damage your um, board and also damage your Arduino Uno board down here so um, that is conclude um, everything about our uh, sensor shield module so let us begin with some ideas uh, in terms of connecting all these things so let me just remove the remaining wire over here and then just maintain some wire so that I can uh, explain to you about what we are going to interface today so let me just zoom out a little bit so that you can see what is uh, our project so let me begin with some idea about using the um, Arduino sensor shield and also interface it with our Bluetooth and also our uh, what we call it as a LCD that being attached to the I squared seat at the sensor shield and then we have this uh, um, LED that being attached to the um, digital pin number 12 11 and 10 so we are going to communicate uh, with the um, smartphone after this uh, so that when we um, say something with regard to the color and then it will change automatically and then that uh, phone connection is actually uh, being connected using a Bluetooth device so as you know in my previous video and also in this series we are more focusing on the using a picto blocks as one of the idea in managing your Arduino Uno project because for the simplicity and also the idea to learn about coding the Arduino in a very simplified manner so let us open our Arduino uh, let us open our picto blocks as you know picto blocks is one of the software being created and also um, published sell by the uh, steampedia company uh, full credit goes to them so after you open your picto blocks so as you know the first step that we need to do is attach our arduino uno with the um, computer so we attach the computer over here and then our arduino uno are going to be light up and then we open our um, picto blocks and then zoom out a little bit over here and then find your board okay so this is my board I'm going to click the board and then I'm going to select for Arduino Uno and then after that please go to the connect over here and then um, just choose the connection that are suitable or being detected by your um, computer with the Arduino after that uh, you may want to go to the mode over here and then proceed with the upload mode 
because we are going to upload our file in the Arduino by using a several command over here. So I'm going to simulate a very simplified command where I can interface my Arduino with the simplified Bluetooth mechanism.